We're now here to do the draw for the 2000. If you look at the friezes on Greek vases, on Egyptian tombs, you will see greyhounds chasing hares in just the same way as we're doing here today, thousands and thousands of years later. That's the red collar, the red collar. Coursing under National Coursing Club rules is very strictly controlled. And as far as the hare is concerned, that is given a 100-yard law before the dogs are actually released. Probably the dogs have run some 400 yards before they actually turn the hare for the first time. The further the course goes on, the tired of the dogs become, the better the chance of the hare to get away. Horses, nine out of those 10 hares would have escaped totally unharmed. during the breeding season because of the next generation of hares being killed. The scores for coursing are done like a golf score. So the first dog to turn the hare and score the initial points. If it's a fair run up, the judge will give him three points for leading, plus one for the turn. So he's on to four points straight away. So that first turn is crucial. And thereafter, whichever dog turns the hair less than 90 degrees scores half a point. If it turns the hair more than 90 degrees, it scores a whole point. Because the hair has this wonderful agility and stamina, so the, the balance of the equation. We can cover from lane to crossing field. It's the thrill of watching the dogs compete, it's the history of the sport, and of course it's its friends. Mainly, of course, because people simply don't understand what happens, they don't understand what coursing consists of, they don't understand what coursing does. It's sheer ignorance which has led us to the position that we're in today. If you get a good slipper, then the hair will go away. They will guaranteed get away all the time. Or right, maybe the odd chance one will get killed, but not all the time. Um, out of Tullamore, John's Princess. And he's the dog we're going to be taking to the Waterloo this year. One thing you don't want to be doing is peeking too early. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. And it really is a true test of the coursing ability of a greyhound. And we've been going since 1777, and this is the home of coursing in Norfolk at West Acre and up at Hillborough. Wonderful coursing country. Anyway, I mean, you have to get permission from the farmer. In my country, you don't have to get permission. You, you can just get wherever you want. Just get away anywhere you like. Yes, absolutely. Yeah.
we in Norfolk, joining counties who've enjoyed coursing, you can't feel it's going to be taken away from you. It's in your blood. You can't let that tradition die, if you've got any sort of faith as an Englishman in tradition. And we've just got to keep going, and we will keep going. People will say, well, you... In effect, I'm not actually thinking about the slip itself. The slip just happens. It's a natural reaction. What I'm focusing on all the time is the hair, and making sure the hair's a good hair, making sure it's going where I want it to. When that hair gets away now, it's perfect. <laughs> Aaron, well, he's the best we've got in England. Oh, let's hope he can do his job today. The last two dogs are really nice dogs. They move really well. You know, when I was walking forward, they were going with me. They really wanted to go. It's a pleasure to slip those. All invited dogs. Equal status, he's Irish born, Irish bred. I bought him just after Christmas. Uh, that's the white collar, the white collar undergraduate. So, undergraduate in a white collar. So the final for the 2005 Waterloo Cup will be Hardy Admiral against Shashi. Well, 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 well. Come on, everybody, give them a chance as they come up in front of you. Give them a clap. Red collar, Hardy Admiral. White collar, Shashi. Go on, all right. Fight for Hardy Admiral. It's red collar, Hardy Admiral. White collar, Shashi. Over. A marvellous winner. Thanks to David Bidwood and everybody who all...